I think we can say without any doubt that it's been a pretty horrible, trashy year uh, for many, many reasons. And it's not been great in the world of stocks either. US has suffered a bit and that got me wondering what are the 10 best and 10 worst performing stocks on the NASDAQ 100 and S&P 500. And I put together that list for you guys to take a look at, see if there's any themes there and whether those themes will roll over into 2023. So with that, let's find out who are the best and who are the worst stocks on those exchanges for this year. Let's first of all have a look at the symbol distribution by stock sector and industry to see if there's any things there. On the left, stock sectors, well, there's seven of them, so they're quite well distributed. We've got consumer durables, commercial services, consumer non-durables, producer manufacturing, finance, health technology, technology services, and drilling that further into the industries, there's eight of them, motor vehicles, miscellaneous commercial services, apparel, footwear, pharmaceuticals, major, medical specialities, electrical products, regional banks, and internet software services. So let's go through that top 10 of the worst and find out which is the very worst stock performer of 2022. So this is the list of the 10 bad boys, not in any particular order yet. I haven't sorted them for percentage performance, but I do know that they are the worst 10. Now, starting from the top there, we've got Generic Holdings. Then we've got Match Group, Align Tech, SVB Financial, Meta Platforms, Catalent, uh, Signature Bank, VF Corp, PayPal and Lucid Group. Now... Let's get them sorted by you know performance and see who is the worst. So the line chart plots these tens performance over the year. And the takeaway really is it's been a downward slope ever since the start, really, for all of them. And it's been a horrible year. And if we focus in on the uh, numbers, You've got SBNY at minus 58%, PayPal minus 60%, VFC minus 62%, CTLT minus 64% nearly, MTCH 66%, Meta down nearly 66%, SIVB minus 67%, Align minus 69%, GNRC minus 72% and down nearly 79%, the worst performer on the S&P. 500 and Nasdaq 100 is Lucid. That's the car manufacturer, EV car manufacturer, down nearly 79%. So let's take a quick look at their chart in a bit more detail. So I've got the weekly Heikinashi chart for Lucid Group here. And as you can see, what we've talked about, it has been a one way street all the way down, you know, that vast pullback in price from those highs. And if we actually go back to the highs back in February of 21, it's actually nearly a 90% fall in price. And it's not looking great. We have got a lot of volume at around about the 20 mark. So we might see a bounce up into that zone. But I think unless something seriously happens in that EV sector for them, to get up into this space then really I think they're going to struggle in this sort of you know 10 to 20 zone that they're playing in at the moment and all the indicators currently are suggesting that things continue in the way they have been and volume also in the stock the interest in the stock has been declining as has the volatility so it's not painting a great picture for the long term for Lucy Group, like I say, the fundamentals need to change, I think, if this stock is to recover in 23. Let's get a bit more positive now and look at the best of 2022. And we're going to do that symbol distribution by sector and industry. And it's a lot narrower, unsurprisingly, if you've been following the stock markets. Three stock sectors on the left there, electronic technology, industrial services and 
the main bulk of it, 80% of it, energy minerals. Now we're focusing on the industries on the right, and we've got oil and gas production, 30%, oil field service equipment, 10%, semiconductors, 10%, oil refining, marketing, 20%, and integrated oil, 30%. So let's now take a look at the 10 that made that list. So the 10 in no particular order just yet. At the top, Enphase Energy, then Occidental Petroleum, then Hess Corporation, then Exxon Mobil, then Marathon Oil, then Marathon Petroleum, then APA Corporation, then Schlumberger, then Valero, then Conoco Phillips. So let's get them sorted into the best performers and find out who the best performing stock of 2022 has been so far. Really, this chart just shows how strong the energy sector has been all year. And that was pushed along the way from the Ukraine-Russian conflict around February, March time. And talking about who's performed best, well, the blue line at the bottom, that's Enphase. And you can see they've made a bit of a recovery um, into positive territory for uh the year so let's go into the numbers m phase at the bottom there 10th place 50 percent up then cop they're up 57 then slb up 64 xom up 72 percent apa up 73 percent has up 74 percent mro up 76 percent vlo up nearly 77 mpc up nearly 80 but the winner is oxy and that's up nearly a staggering 120% on the year. So a fantastic performance for them. And if you were long energy sectors over the year, you've probably actually had a very good trading uh, performance. So let's just take a look, a closer look at the chart there for Oxy. So weekly Haikanashi chart for Occidental Petroleum and the big takeaway for me is if you go back just as well not that far really October 2020 when the price of Occidental was down around $10 now up a staggering 813 814% when it hit those highs um, earlier in the summer August of this year you can see there's 22 starting um, very good strong period but that's an amazing turnaround in the company's performance really strong but has it you know the momentum sort of run out of steam looking at this box here price is looking a bit more sideways in terms of the action volume is on the way down we've got a short signal in the longer term here in this indicator volatility also doing nothing special so pullback wise you maybe see the 50 51 dollars in the first instance and then down into the early 40s after that or maybe if we see another strong year of energy products and services then we're going to look through that breakout of the highs around about 78 dollars before it can push on up towards maybe a hundred dollars but there you go that's the best of the best of 22 occidental petroleum there's still a few weeks left of december so those numbers may change but i don't think they're gonna change that much quite frankly or we're not likely to see any other newcomers hit those lists now interesting um, analysis there that the big upside was energy stocks are they going to be strong into 23 love to hear your thoughts on that and are there any sectors that you think are going to be stronger next year you know what are your top tips love to hear your thoughts get them in those comments and get that conversation stirring so if you want to learn more about trading you want to get heavily into uh, this subject and take on the challenge for 23 i've got a great playlist for you if you work your way from top to bottom it's going to make you a serious player in the trading world and hopefully take your trading and your performance to the next level. So here it is.
Thank you.